Appropriation. <laughs> Hello, we are updating for week two of Vietnam. We just finished our welcome dinner. We met up with some of the people earlier for lunch as well, for pho. And this group is a lot smaller this time. It's only 12, 13 people. Yeah, but everyone's been great. A lot of people seem to be proactive too, because even though they had landed in Vietnam, they were ready to like go yeah, to check out, shit. do the touristy shit, take advantage of being in a new environment. We went to lunch and everyone already had their cash prepared. I was so pleasantly surprised. Also, we got a new tour guide for this week. He has been so great. Very informative too, because even when we were taking the bus to go to the restaurant, he was giving us a story about like why this restaurant was chosen, the Vietnamese and French influences, the favorite dishes that he likes on there. I have been really liking everyone so far in a little bit. I think No, except that one girl. What? You, you didn't like, you told me. <laughs> Stupid. City, City hates Rachel. Rachel is an ongoing joke that we have where every time the tour guide counts how many people are here to make sure everyone is here, they'll be like, okay, everyone, let's go. And then we'll be like, wait, you forgot Rachel. Yeah, they'll be like, who the fuck is Rachel? Because <laughs> it's just a name I literally, there's no context. I just thought of a name. For JJ, the first tour guide, she was so confused at first. She was like, huh? <laughs> who's, who's Rachel? I'm looking forward to this week. I feel like this tour is more focused on food because we're doing like a cooking class. We're doing, actually, okay, this isn't food related, but we're doing snorkeling and that'll be cool, I mm. think. We shall bring you along for the rest of the week. Bye. Ew, no free feet. Free feet. <laughs> Before we get into the vlog, I want to say thank you to Brio Geo for sponsoring this video. This is a great company that's woman-owned, black-owned, eco-conscious, and doesn't use any harmful ingredients. The first product I got from them is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. I have dry damaged hair from bleaching it all the time, so this is great for balancing protein and moisture. I also got the Scalp Revival Exfoliating Shampoo. This is meant to cleanse, detoxify, and hydrate your scalp because healthy hair starts at the scalp. Also, every now and then, I get dandruff, so this is where the Scalp Revival Dandruff Relief Shampoo has been so useful for me. So if you're interested, you can go to riojiohair.com slash withcindy and use my code withcindy15 to get 15% off your order. Now let's go ahead and start the vlog.
are back in our hotel. We've had a very busy first two full days of the trip because yesterday we walked around trying and sampling a whole bunch of food. It was great though. Our tour guide made sure we were well fed. He has the system where he said on a scale of one to five, one being starving and five being super full, he would constantly ask us what our number was. And I appreciate that. I think that's what every tour guide should do. Constantly make sure that we are full. Speaking of being full, today we did a cooking class with a local family and she and her mom were so sweet. They were basically like a family where the woman teaching us was a mom of three kids and she was also living with her mom. They live in the old quarter of Hanoi, Vietnam. She was teaching us how to make spring rolls. She helped us make turmeric fish. We learned how to roll our own food. It was Cindy's first time. I cannot believe it. Wrapping a fucking spring roll. I was looking at her and I was like, Cindy, you've never wrapped a spring roll before? I've never wrapped a spring roll. You know, I should have recorded you wrapping that spring roll. It was hanging on, not by a fucking thread, but like it was rice paper. So it was so delicate. And I was just like, what are you doing, girl? But uh, in the lunch, we had chaga, which is like turmeric catfish. And one of my favorite things to eat. For dinner, we had fried um, spring rolls where we wrap the stuff in the rice paper and they would just fry it. And we made both of times flour banana Vietnamese salad, which is really good. We made our own fish sauce, like nook mam to eat with the with the food. Yeah, I really liked the fish sauce that mm -hmm. we made because they were so much more flavorful than the ones that I've tried in restaurants. Because you could literally make your own by adding as much lime or sugar or fish sauce as you want. So I added a whole bunch of garlic and chili peppers and it was so flavorful. Her family was so talented and smart. Her mom did all these paintings that were hanging around her house and they were really good. Her daughters that are like, I think seven or eight years old or whatever, she was like a chess champion in her school. The woman herself is like super well-traveled. She yeah. lived in like Thailand, Australia. She married late at like 35 years old, which gave her all this time to travel. Basically, she was giving mother. Big mother energy. She was really smiley the whole time. Just like super friendly and her aura, you just couldn't help but like it. So I feel like it's a good bonding experience for everyone too to like learn how to yeah. make this food together. And some of the travelers that were on here, like Monica and Olivia, they legit wanted to make like food and they're like planning on replicate that shit in the US. See, I know I'm not gonna do that shit in the US. I'm definitely doing it. Really? Hell yeah, the nuke mam is so easy to make. Oh yeah. And the spring was also easy to make as well. See, I'm not a cooking girly, but I enjoy the experience yeah, anyway. Yeah, you can tell she's not cooking girly from the way she was wrapping those rolls. I was like, <laughs> I was like, girl, what are you doing? Oh my God, we have to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow because we're taking taking a flight at 8.45 a.m. and we're gonna fly to central Vietnam. Right after we fly there, we're gonna go visit a farm and we're gonna do cycling around the countryside. So it's gonna be a very busy long day tomorrow, which is very important for us to get some sleep. So I'm gonna knock out after I shower, take some melatonin, peace the fuck out. I, on the other hand, am going out. <laughs> Could not we, be me. the total opposite. I'm gonna make most of my time here and just live my life. And seems like, I'm not gonna fuck out. I haven't even packed yet. Like I'm gonna pack when I get back and she's gonna be knocked out cold. And you're gonna get back probably around 1 a.m. Yeah, 1 or 2. Damn. I don't even think I'll get any sleep at all tonight. Here's the difference between these two gays. You're slay and I'm lay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like yay and you're nay. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like the older I've gotten, the more I'm like, dude, I want my eight hours of sleep. Even eight hours is not enough for me. Hoi An and Da Nang are apparently one of the cleanest cities in all of Vietnam. It's more central. It's still gonna be hot as fuck, but- It'll be hotter it'll than be here. Hotter. Yeah. yeah. I'm not looking forward to that. So. But we're gonna check into a resort, so that'll be nice. It's nice to be treated well for once. I will update you later. Bye. <gasps> it wasn't recording. No, you're kidding me. I'm just kidding. You fucking idiot. I was like, <laughs> oh, bye. I ain't, I ain't doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> was it, is it really, was it recording? Now swirl it around so the oil can get around. There you go. Now you can put some the pork in there. You're gonna cook the pork for a good two minutes. There you go. Oh, never mind. And and got it. Let's you save my life now. Mix the pork around. <laughs> Cindy! <laughs> hey! It's okay? 
Wow, not bad. I wonder how it would be if I didn't help you. It would not even be a dish. Me posting my vlog. I made my subscribers do labor. We back to back for like appropriation, and then you say reparation. Yeah, yeah. Appropriation. You look so bad. You look like a <laughs> You look like a nerd. <laughs> this is your impersonation of a booktuber. Yeah. I should read this book. It's so bad. <laughs> Adventures in Vietnam. Fucking finally! Okay, so last time I updated, I was talking about the first cooking class with the family. But since then, the next day, we flew to Da Nang, which is in central Vietnam. We visited a farmer's house, and the family was so sweet, and they showed us how to make bun zeo. Oh yeah, that was, that was my favorite, one of my favorite excursions to do. Bun zeo is basically an omelet dish, and I got to cook. Actually, you saw how I cooked. <laughs> <laughs> we did some cycling around the countryside too, which was beautiful. Did I take any pictures or videos? No, but it will remain in our brains. Um, the farmer family was so nice because they could tell we were overheated. So the yeah, grandpa kept, kept on like fanning yeah, it was, us. It was so cute. Monica, who is one of the travelers, um, she needed help like getting around. And so the grandpa would hold her hand as, um, and guide her. Aww, they were really sweet. That. Yeah, they so were really cute. sweet. Even when we were leaving them and we got in the truck, he kept on like waving goodbye. And then even so as cute. we were leaving, he kept on like following the band and going like this. I really liked meeting um, all the families. They've been super sweet and nice and kind. Yeah, the main guy, he was so smiley. Probably the smiliest person I know. I don't know what it was, his smile personality, but I was I was attracted to that man. I made him laugh. Oh, uh, you did? We were at the pit stop for the cycling and then we were gonna go again. And I was oh, like, yeah. all right, let's fucking go! And then he laughed at me and he was like, let's fucking go! Yeah, <laughs> it was funny. He was, he was so cute. That was the same guy that said I looked like a hip hop singer. Really? Mm-hmm. I think it was my hair and Goodbye. like my tattoos and after that what did we do we checked into our hotel and we had a free day oh my god our hotel was so nice i think it's my favorite hotel so far it was so bright and airy and spacious the bathroom was my favorite with the flower shaped mirror the day after that was um a free day for us no we went no home. we went snorkeling the we next day oh my god that was my favorite my favorite excursion ever we went to this place called <laughs> jam islands that was my first time on a speedboat i didn't realize how bumpy it would be but it was kind of fun it was like a roller coaster yeah it was really fun it was like racing and then you go like oh shit <laughs> and we went on the speed boat to like this ricky ass old fishing boat that had its own certain charm we went snorkeling they took us to another like boat ride around the island where we had to jump in the water and um basically i couldn't see shit because i mean Cindy wear glasses so this entire time when i was looking down i was like amazing <laughs> wow i love the, the view here <laughs> yeah 
A lot but, of blurriness. But the experience was fun in of itself because the people and just the vibe, the water was really nice. Like it wasn't too cold, but it wasn't like extremely warm either. So it was really nice overall. Also, I was really scared because I didn't know how to swim, but everyone else was swimming. So yeah, was okay. Like, you know what happened is that she was the last person to get in the water and she was wearing a life jacket and that floaty um, yeah. that circle. Yeah, extra protection yeah. because I was so and, scared. And then Sydney <laughs> couldn't even kick or do anything. She just stood there like an NPC <laughs> character. And I was like, okay, fine. So I had to pull her and um, kick and push her up where the crowd was. <laughs> I did it back and then forth. I'm sorry. It wasn't even like your waist nothing to do it. I was just fucking tired. <laughs> I'm really weak and I was just exerting my energy. I felt like I was gonna drown. But it was fun. It was just really fun overall. I remember we were swimming out in the ocean and I was like, man, you know, if I died here, that would like kill the vibe for at least one hour. <laughs> and then everyone was talking about like what they would do and everything and how you would post a video afterward about story times. Yes. I'd have been like, beat. Guys, Sydney, she fucking died. Let me tell you how. <laughs> Let me Let's tell you the, the tea. tea. Then we went to the fisherman's house where we were able to shower and then have like a home cooked meal with the islanders, which was so cool. We saw like monkeys there. Um, yeah. There some cute dogs. And yeah. like, the beach, the water was so, it was just so clear and blue and nice. It was a very small town. I think everyone pretty much already knew each other. Not many tourists. We were basically like the only tourists. I maybe saw like one or two other white people, but that was it. And then when we took the speedboat back, we, then we had a cocktail tour. Oh yeah! That, that was pretty cool too. This oh lady yeah. um, took us to four different cocktail places around the city in Hoi An. In each four destinations, we were able to try a cocktail and a snack. I think the first first one was like, um, it was like a strawberry mm -hmm. vodka drink. The second one was like a Mexican inspired drink. And then the third one was inspired by like the American Vietnam War and like memorabilia around everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth one was the most interesting. It was pho broth with gin. Mm -hmm. Think of all the pho broth, like you know what, what's in pho? What, what consists of pho? And it was gin inside, and it was so nasty. I'm sorry, I was not vibing with it. You it was didn't like so it, gross. I drank all the drinks. Actually, I drank twice the number of drinks because there were other travelers that didn't want to drink as much. They wanted to pace themselves, but I was trying to feel something. So I was like, "Give me all your drinks, whoever's not finishing them." And I was like. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. I love being drunk. On the very last day, after the farewell dinner, which consisted of us going on another ship around the river, it was that nice. We got stuck because the tide was too low for us to move. But I mean, it wasn't like a big deal that we were stuck because it was such a nice night. It wasn't hot for once. Yeah. The weather was good and they gave us margaritas because we got stuck for the inconvenience. So I was like, give it to me. They also gave us lanterns to put in the water yeah, and make a wish. Out. And during the farewell dinner, everyone was making farewell speeches. That's the first time that's happened. Yeah, everyone did their own farewell speech. Everyone was feeling sentimental and shit. I was like, it's really not that deep. I was like, good, good riddance, good fucking bye. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you guys. One of the travelers cried during the farewell speech. Who? Mage. Oh, Mage cried. Yeah. But I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. And so then when we were like setting out the lanterns and watching all of our lanterns go off distance i was sitting next to mage and i was like i'm gonna make her cry again i was like oh my god it's like all of us departing and going our own separate ways and she was like cindy <laughs> <laughs> i love making people cry afterward we went real out bad start. Yeah. yeah we went out to this place called why not this bar club like across the river we got free shots we got buy one get one free drink and we got these balloons that had like aspects of like i don't know what it was but you know you basically get high from sucking the balloon every couple minutes mm -hmm. and then we also got like a hookah we only paid for one drink and we got the rest of it free the real party started when a bunch like a huge group of people came in mm -hmm. and it was like a during a pub crawl and then you guys decided to leave and i decided to stay behind <laughs> and get even more drunk yeah and then while you were still drinking um, and going out with them. Some of the other travelers and I who had decided to go back to our hotel, we went over to my hotel room and we just did face masks and we stayed up till like 5 a.m. talking about love and life and where we were gonna be yeah, in like I, a couple years. I didn't even know that and I came to them like all talking. I was like, what the fuck? I, I was like, <laughs> what are you guys doing still up? Because it was so late. It was 5 a.m. by the time we, I think we went to bed and we had to wake up the next day to like say goodbye to the other travelers who were leaving. Leaving. Yeah, but one of the travelers no two of them They were so tired that I was like they dude slept over just sleep with us And so we just shared like a bed and yeah, it was fun I mean, Typical for me sleeping in another bed with a girl, but whatever, you know But it was a really fun night for me because I was basically hanging out with this boy named tiger the entire night We exchanged snapchat, but I don't think we ever added each other sad days You'll always live in here rent free. Okay, if anybody knows a tiger from Japan long black hair was in Vietnam during the month of 
April. Add Elias back on Snapchat. But anyway, so we said goodbye to everybody. Yeah, it was overall a great week. And yeah. then after that, we, Cindy and I transferred over to um, Da Nang with a couple more travelers who are still staying around. We've been sleeping in so heavily, so deeply, so nicely. Today is my last day before yeah. I leave tomorrow morning. Oh. And I leave in two days, so quite a journey. We've basically been in Vietnam for a month now. I have been feeling sad about going back to reality and going back to- I work. miss my cat! I want to see Pira Nessie so bad! I can't wait to see Pira. I'm well, so I miss my AC, so I'm looking forward to that. Otherwise, overall, it's been great. I really have enjoyed this entire journey. I've loved meeting all the travelers too and making new friends Good and group. everything. Yeah, it was a great group. I've been I enjoyed all the experiences that we've had, especially the cooking classes and getting to meet local families because they were all so nice. The cocktail experience too was so fun. I've yeah. never done anything like that. So yeah, overall, I would say this was a successful trip. I'm gonna get ice cream because it's fucking hot over here. <laughs> what else is new? But yeah, thanks for joining us along this journey. If you are interested in joining us for future travel experiences and group travels. The next one that I'm doing is Japan in October. And then another one will be South Korea in May. And then I'm hoping to also do Bali in August. So South Korea and Bali will be in 2024, but for 2023, it will be October and in Japan. So I will post the links down below if you are interested. Go ahead and subscribe for my channel. Bye. Bye. Ew. Ew! <laughs> <laughs>